guys, this is Kaiju2014117 signing in. So, today I'm going to be talking about Death Battle. If you do not know what Death Battle is, I'll, write, I'll put the link to the description below my video and as well the second description, um, sorry, second link down below which includes a video. Now today's video, we'll be talking about Death Battle's recent video about Dragon Zord versus Kuryu or also known as Mechagodzilla. Now, this is one of the most amazing videos and if you do not know what Mechagodzilla is or Dragon Zord, they will explain to you in the video. But anyways, I'm super late I know because this video already came out about a few weeks ago. But anyways, I came to acknowledge about this video. Now, if you guys are a huge Godzilla fan and you guys are rooting for Mechagodzilla 3 or Kuryu, this is probably your reaction. Yes! Oh my gosh, yes! I knew he could win! I knew he could beat him! He beat him! Yes! And, that's probably the reaction. But, if you are a Power Ranger fan, who is a big fan of Tommy Oliver's Dragon Zord, this is probably your reaction. No! How could the Power Rangers get defeated by that? Come on, they got the power and the force they, like they never have seen before. And they have the ability to morph and even up the score. Yet they couldn't even even up the score with that giant robotic lizard? Unbelievable! Come on, they're Power Rangers. They're like five different swords and they even have a dragon sword on their side and they can't even combine to defeat that robotic dinosaur thing. <laughs> so, basically, yeah, that's uh, how the Power Rangers couldn't defeat the Mechagodzilla robot. So anyways, let's talk about so what are my thoughts? I think this is a pretty good detail video that talks about both their origins, their powers and abilities, and their strengths and weaknesses. But, and then of course the battle is awesome. And then of course the results is a fact. Now, many people are wondering, how is it that Mechagodzilla can still withstand against a Dragon Sword? So first of all, one. This is not just any organ, ordinary Godzilla. Now, there are already five different carnations of Mega Godzilla. Of course, the, um, two, the three of them, actually four of them, are from Japan, but one of them is an anime. And then the other one is, of course, the American-made Mega Godzilla, which that is a sweet, sweet references, especially how they use the powers and ability it can use. But, let's talk about why. Because this version of Mega Godzilla is the third version that... Is created from the original bones of Godzilla. So basically, the Dragon Zord was fighting the original Godzilla. But the big thing about that is um, how can I put it this way? If you cannot defeat a Mecha Godzilla, there's no way the Dragon Zord has a chance against Godzilla. Why is that? Because Mega Godzilla was designed to combat against Godzilla because it can go from far distance, it can fly up, and even in Close combat, it can, it has a chance to fight Godzilla. Even it almost defeated Godzilla, but this version was able to defeat Godzilla in Godzilla Tokyo SOS. So, question to the Power Ranger fans. Look, I'm a Power Ranger fan myself, but, but seriously, you think that Dragon Zord has a chance against Godzilla? I mean, it has a chance, or any other Titans, but unfortunately, it's not possible it's gonna happen. I'm sorry guys. Especially if you cannot defeat a Mecha Godzilla. How's what are the chances of defeating other Titans like King Ghidorah, Gigan, Biollante, Orga, Space Godzilla, any other tough Titans that Godzilla has fought? What are their chances? Now I'm not trashing down the Power Rangers. I respect the Power Rangers too because I grew up at the time that the Power Rangers was created. Well, anyways, guys, what are my overall thoughts? I think it's a good video. You guys can look into that video. I'll put down in the description. Okay? Anyways, thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Yeah. This is Kaiju2014117 signing off.